Hello and welcome to this comprehensive breakdown of the latest political developments. Today, we'll be focusing on the escalating concerns surrounding former President Donald Trump as he reacts to recent polling data and legal setbacks. We'll also dive into the impressive rise of Vice President Kamala Harris in key states and explore the significance of new voter registration numbers. My name is Brett Malise with the Midas Touch Network, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're close to reaching 3. 5 million subscribers, and we can't do it without your support. Donald Trump has been aggressively posting on social media as his anxiety grows, particularly in response to Kamala Harris surging poll numbers. Nationally, Harris is gaining momentum, consistently polling 4 to 7 points ahead of Trump in various surveys. In key battleground states like Arizona, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, Harris' lead continues to widen, a sign of strong voter enthusiasm and significant absentee ballot requests, especially among Democrats. In Pennsylvania alone, Democrats account for 62% of absentee ballot requests, compared to only 27% from Republicans, a clear indication of a Democratic firewall being built ahead of the election. Michigan is also seeing a surge, with cities like Detroit already submitting thousands of votes, mostly from older black women, a crucial demographic for the Harris campaign. While Trump scrambles to make appearances in these states, his rallies are drawing underwhelming crowds, contradicting his claims of overwhelming support. For instance, during a recent event in Saginaw, Michigan, Trump bragged about a full arena, but footage shows a half-empty venue, exposing the gap between his rhetoric and reality. Trump's social media posts have also turned increasingly erratic, targeting Harris and her handling of the border crisis. However, these claims are largely unfounded, as Trump himself blocked critical bipartisan immigration reforms. His legal troubles are mounting too, as key allies, like election clerk Tina Peters, are facing lengthy prison sentences for attempting to overturn the 2020 election. Peters was sentenced to nine years, a potential preview of what could happen to Trump if he loses his ongoing legal battles. As Trump continues his frantic efforts to maintain control, it's clear that Kamala Harris is gaining ground, supported by strong polling data and an energized voter base. Trump's desperation is becoming more apparent, and the stakes in this election are higher than ever. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Midas Touch Network for all the latest updates. Together, we can continue to hold those in power accountable.